Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. It is another wonderful day here in New Brunswick. The sun is out, the temperatures are supposed to get up there again today, and today we've actually got some mail outs to do to some other YouTubers, and we're gonna see if we can't maybe fit some 18 inch oversized wheels and tires on the old shop truck, so stay tuned. So you see guys, what I'm thinking is we've got some 18 inch tires that we ordered in for a customer. Uh, we put them on the Jeep and well, he didn't like them. So we've got them sitting out back. They're just taking up space. We can't send them back because they were a special order. We're wondering if those 35 inch, 18 inch tires will fit on an F-150. We're thinking that we have to put some uh, leveling kits on the front, maybe even some wheel spacers to help give us that turning radius. But why don't you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Have you ever had an experience with 18 inch tires? Well, 35s on a Ford F-150? If so, what did you have to do to make them work? I mean, seriously, if we can get 31s to fit on a 2009 Kia Sportage, yeah, it's got a little bit of rubbing issues. Yeah, it doesn't turn very well and yeah, it just really looks cool. So if we can get those tires to fit on that shop truck, then I think we're gonna have ourselves one badass looking truck. And these are the 18s that we had in mind. They're not a special name brand. These are called uh, Ginelli. They're just a generic brand, uh, but they are 35 inch 18. And uh, we wanna see if we can make use of them by putting them on the shop truck on a set of custom rims. So we're not actually going to be putting them on the truck today. We've got to do a little bit of research. I've got to take your guys' information into account to see how you actually made out with your 18 inch conversions. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to see what's out there. I'm going to do a little bit of Googling and uh, see what we can come up with. Cause I don't want to be spending about a uh, thousand or more dollars in wheels uh, just to find that they actually were not gonna be able to fit them on the truck. So I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what the plan is as far as that goes. But for right now, we're going to take our new Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts, focus on the windshield. I'm calling these my focus tees, and I'm sending them out to three other YouTubers that uh, have helped me kind of get to where I am, and in hopes that, you know, maybe they'll give me a little bit of a shout out on their channel and help grow this one just a little bit more. So who you may ask am I sending them out to? Well, the first one being Send It Steve. See, Steve has been a real inspiration on my channel when, when he first started. He was just a small used car dealer uh, selling cars just like I did. So I, I've given him a heads up that it's on its way, as well as Kevin from Junkyard Digs. Uh, I've been watching him for a really long time and he's just a, it's a really cool channel. And uh, I've, again, I've given him a heads up that uh, something is heading his way. And a new channel that I've featured before is uh, Whitlock Garage. So Robbie down there in Marietta, Georgia, with his C10 and, and his group of friends there, they all have these you know square body trucks and they're not all Chevs either. Some of them are Fords and stuff. But I wanted to send him something, a little token of appreciation for the fact that he started a channel and in like 90 days hit 1,000 subscribers and I think he's crept up over 4,000 by now. So uh, Robbie, if you're watching, Steve and Kevin, we've got these shirts going out to you today. So you should see them in the mail within a few days. So we just got lunch out of the way. We are now head over to Callus to mail out our t-shirts and I got a couple of parcels to pick up myself. So let's make her to Callus. One hour later. So there you go guys. Everything is in the mail and you guys should be receiving it within a couple of days of the recording of this. But by the time this video goes live, I'm sure that you will have it. And hopefully 
anybody that's following Junkyard Digs, Whitlock Garage, or Send It Steve, you guys will be able to see, hopefully, like I said, them opening up these packages in one of their videos. So stay tuned to that. So we're here at Johnson's to pick up uh, my other parcels, and I know that one of them is going to be the gaskets for the old Mopar. So hopefully that's it. And tonight, maybe we can work away at getting that project buttoned up as well. So let's go inside and pick up our packages. So indeed, my gaskets did finally come in. And these are Percy's Seal for Good. And they are a layered aluminum gasket. And uh, they came highly recommended. So that's what I'm gonna use. Hopefully that'll fix our problem. The other part that I got was my entry into the C7 Corvette giveaway uh, through Street Speed 717. Basically all you had to do was order something and for every $5 you spent, you got an entry into that draw. So I entered in, $10 key tag, two entries. All it takes is one. So here's, here's hoping that I can win that. The uh, next hurdle is if I do win it, can I get it across the border? Well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Okay guys, so this is Tuesday night and if you were following me on the live stream, I was working away at getting the headers uh, put back together with those new gaskets. I ran into some trouble, things ran a little late and some tools went flying and I figured I better stop the live stream before I incriminate myself very badly. So we've got everything back together and I do have the camera here now, so we are gonna start it and see if we have any leaks as of right now. So, you're coming along. That is much, much gooder. I'm really happy with that. I will go around after uh, I bring this thing up the temperature. We'll snug those bolts up one more time and then we'll be able to drive her. So I think this weekend we're gonna be able to take it out to the shop at some point between Mother's Day dinner, church, getting the floor fixed on the camper and working Saturday morning. <laughs> Somewhere in between there, we will get this thing cleaned up and uh, maybe we'll take it to work on Saturday and just putter away at getting it washed at least on the outside so that I can drive it. Maybe we'll even take it down to the camp. No, I can't do that because I can't haul plywood in the car. Anyways, we'll figure something out. I'm glad you guys stuck around and thank you so much for joining me in the live stream there on Tuesday evening for about 40 minutes. Had lots of fun, had a lot of interaction and that guys is what's going to help me build my 4,000 watch hours. So that is gonna conclude this video and if you guys can see behind me, we did get a start on project wall art. I'm still looking for license plates, so I'm thinking I may have to go to eBay uh, just to hunt down about a dozen or so license plates, maybe more if I want to finish this wall over here. But if you guys have any, I'm still on the prowl. If you guys have some spare license plates kicking around, please send them my way. I'd be happy to take them off your hand. My addresses are down below. If you're in Canada, there's a Canadian address. If you're in the States, there's a US address. If you're from anywhere else in the world, pick one. I'll get it either way. So guys, in the description box below, there are several links that you can support my channel more ways than just watching my videos. So if you do that, please take a moment and check those links out. Link number five is Sussex Beard Oil, who is a continual sponsor of this channel. So thank you so much to Matt over at Sussex Beard Oil for sponsoring this beard. And uh, I will put a link down there for you guys to go check that out. If you're looking for some beard oil, you can go to sussexbeard.com. The link is right there. And if you use promo code GLOVEBOX, when you buy a regular sized Sussex Beard Oil, you can get any travel size absolutely free just by using the, the promo code GLOVEBOX. So make sure you check that out. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, but don't be a jerk about it, please. Thank you. I want you all to stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.